my colleague Mark and I, we saw this this Volkswagen EV. We saw it at Xpeng's headquarters, and Mark was like, "Yeah, that's that's Volkswagen's new EV. Obviously, it's um it's being tested by Xpeng. No, it's actually it's actually really an Xpeng, but it's got a Volkswagen badge on it. Therefore, it's probably going to be a really good electric car. It'll probably be the best electric car Volkswagen has ever made. We have got some details on this car. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking Volkswagen's new Xpeng, um, or Xpeng's new Volkswagen. I'm not sure how you say that one. It has an 800 volt architecture, 425 miles of range, right? Volkswagen has released its new ID Unix 08 or 08, and it's a crossover. I'm personally not a big fan of the look, but Mark likes the look. What do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts. It has ultra fast charging 800 volts and probably approximately same charging speed as new Xpeng G6, which is around 450 to 480 kilowatt. Starting price is going to be very affordable, right? Will you be able to buy this car outside of China? Absolutely. Volkswagen are planning on selling cars outside of China that they make in China. So it is happening. Co-developed by Volkswagen and Xpeng at Xpeng's factories. Anyway, over the last year, this new Volkswagen is being positioned as an upscale flagship for the ID Unix lineup that made its debut in 2024. It brings new features to the German brand's all-electric Chinese lineup and yeah, I mean, it's clearly a better car. The new ID Unix 08 will come with two battery options, a smaller battery, 82 kilowatt hours. A longer range battery is 95 kilowatt hours. Range is 630 kilometers for the, the smaller battery and 730 kilometers for the bigger battery. That's 425 miles. But that CLTC, um, you know, it would get more range than that if... It had NMC batteries, but it's using lithium ion phosphate batteries. Almost probably now 90% of new models that I've seen launched this year, maybe more, maybe 95% are using lithium ion phosphate batteries instead of NMC. So this is just the way that everyone's going. You know, all these attacks on EVs from the Australian media, in particular uh, Channel 7, going after EVs and Spotlight, targeting them. If you'd like to book a paid consultation, uh, you can do so. And I'll put a link in the description below if you want advice on what electric car to buy, solar systems, all that kind of stuff, you can do that. They're going after Chinese EVs, not European ones, not American ones, just predominantly Chinese ones. The, all the negativity is around these batteries having nickel, but very, very few of them actually have nickel. So they're kind of wasting their time, I'd say. But it's really the intention of all those articles is just to get people not to buy an EV, to slow down the transition or to try to stop it completely. The batteries will send power to a 230 kilowatt, same motor as what you get in XPEN cars, 310 horsepower electric motor, and charging speeds, are, they haven't released what they actually are, but they say plus 300. So more than likely to be the same as the G6. 10 to 80% takes 20 minutes, apparently. Dimensionally, this is um, a relatively big car. And to me, I think it's actually based on the G9, the new XPEN G9. It's five meters long. So slightly longer than the G9, um, but I think the G9L will be similar to this car. So the, the G9, there's going to be a new version of the G9, and with, that'll be the L version, which will be a stretched version of that vehicle. I think it'll have seven seats as well. So that's basically, I think, this car here. This means it's about the same size as a Jeep Wagoneer S. It's just over 16 feet long. Wheelbase is 119 inches. And it's also 6.4 foot wide. So it's about two meters wide. Yeah, it's definitely a large SUV. I think it's fair to say. By US standards, you might say mid size, mid to large. But by Australian standards, we'd say it would be large. Now, will this car be sold in the United States? No, absolutely not. You guys are banned from getting Chinese vehicles. So yeah, not banned, but, you know, basically. So will it come to Europe? Probably. I'm hearing that it probably will. Australia, most likely it will. And I think this car is actually not bad. And, you know, when I first saw it with all the camouflage on it, I thought it didn't look great. But I think now looking at these photos, it's um, it's actually not bad. So I've got to admit I've changed my mind on the looks of it. The front, I'm not a huge fan of. The back, I think, looks not bad. That said, the question here is, why would you bother buying this when you can simply buy an Xpeng G9? It's coming to many markets. So it's sort of the conundrum that a lot of Western automakers are facing, isn't it, where... They're kind of rebadging, restyling, but not changing really very much, these Chinese cars. 
And of course, they're going to have to sell them at a premium price above what their Chinese um, twin is selling the car at. So the question is, if consumers are aware of this, why wouldn't they just buy the Chinese version for a lower price? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Guys, if you want to install solar panels, a home battery or a home charger, the best way to do this for your situation is to go to the links in the description below and they'll take you to a page where you can compare everyone. So depending on where you, it doesn't matter where you live, a lot of people email me all the time saying, well, what solar system should I get? Who should I go with? What battery should I get? What electric charger should I get? Well, click in the links in the description and you can actually compare all the different choices and find the best deal for you. I'll put that link in the description below. Additionally, there is a battery savings calculator link and also a federal battery rebate calculator. I personally have found that I'm not paying for electricity at all, and that's including charging my two electric cars and also running my home power, my home sauna, um, nothing not paying anything at all. And I think a lot of people are getting misled. They think that getting a battery is not worth it. Actually, I think it is worth it. So those links are in the description below.